Hey, it's Pastor Wink again with a Advent devotional, and it is Christmas Day. The day has finally arrived, and um, uh, we have been going through this uh, text, and the word was God, and uh, we have uh, today's devotional and tomorrow's devotional, and and then we're we are finished. Um, as in yesterday, I. Uh, you notice I'm, I'm probably wearing similar clothing to yesterday. Um, that's because I'll probably be busy on the real Christmas Day. And so I'm filming this a little early. It's Christmas Day! Don't you forget it either, okay? It's Friday. It's the fourth week of Advent, the fourth Friday of Advent. And the title of the devotional that we will be in today is New Life, New Love. And here's the verse for today's devotional. He loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. And that's in 1 John chapter 4, and it's an excerpt from verses 10 through 11. Let's continue reading. At the moment that you fully realize that the God who loves you unconditionally loves all your fellow human beings with the same love, a new way of living opens itself to you. For you come to see with new eyes those who love beside you in this world. With uh, open hands, page 90. For you come to see with new eyes. This is the second time that new eyes have been mentioned in, in the devotional. And I think especially at Christmas time, this is a, a very important thing for us to consider. For you come to see with new eyes those who love beside you in this world. God does love each and every single one of us completely unconditionally. Uh, in our in, in in our wealth, in our poverty, uh, in our strength, in our weakness, um, he loves us unconditionally. And as we become loved unconditionally, is it possible for us to become like Christ and love others unconditionally? And I can tell you, it's it's very difficult. Sarah and I have intentionally set out. Um, and I, I shouldn't say we intentionally. God put, God put into it our lives, uh, a little family, a single mother with three children, put into our lives, and she has been in our lives now for five, five or six years maybe. And um, every single moment is a battle of love. And sometimes we've had to use tough love. Um, and just say, hey, we're here, but we're not going to bother you. We're not going to talk to you. We're not going to, we're not going to step on your toes. And um, uh, and then she'll call when she needs us, and she does. And and sometimes it's just a matter of you need to understand that the reason we do this is because we love you. And for a woman who has never really been loved, is so hard for her to grasp. So for us to go out and love others, is maybe something that's easy to say but sometimes others don't understand it and don't don't understand what you're doing and and don't get that this love comes unconditionally sometimes you have to explain it and sometimes that means they go away for a while uh, but you keep loving unconditionally and 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 they come home let's continue reading the coming of a new baby in the world changes the whole dynamic of a family this new life brings more love and more joy to all the people who surrounded, surround the child. If this is the possibility offered by the birth of every human child, how much more does the birth of the Christ child change the dynamic of the entire human family throughout time and space? Creation is made new. God's love is incarnate among us. I remember when my son Cameron was born. He's our oldest son, uh, oldest child. And um, I had this uh, red Chevy S10 pickup truck. And that was the car that, that Sarah and I, that we had and that we utilized. Um, 
she had a uh, 67 Ford Mustang. I wish we still had that. We don't. Um, but, um, you know, that's another story. Um, but I had this pickup truck, and it wasn't until she was almost ready to give birth that we realized this isn't going to work. We're not going to be able to put our family in this truck. Where are we going to put the baby? And um, all of a sudden, everything started changing. You know, what What was my office in my our home became a nursery. Um, and I got to sit at the dining room table. Um, so many things changed. Just one little baby, one little family. And what the author is saying is how great, how much greater is the change that takes place when the Son of God is born and how great that is for all humankind. God's love is incarnate among us. God's love, Jesus Christ, God in human form is among us. Are you ready for this child? Are you ready for new life, new love and new joy? Heavenly Father, I pray that I may fully enter into this holy season. Make good my efforts and forgive my failings. I want to open my heart and make it a manger for your son. Give me the grace to be enlivened by your coming among us. Amen. Give me the grace to be enlivened by your coming among us. Amen. Are you ready to make your life a manger for the sun? Are you ready to open your heart? Maybe you have already. Maybe you just need that affirmation that you're doing the right thing, that you know you're doing what God is calling you to do. This is a great little prayer. Forgive me first, Father. Forgive me of my shortcomings. Forgive me of my failings. And then allow me to open my heart. Open my heart for a manger to your son. What does that look like? Well, maybe it looks like opening your heart to your neighbor, uh, to someone at your workplace, to someone who really does need, really does need to know what unconditional love looks like. And here's our prayer for today's devotional. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I am ready to receive you more fully into my life. In your name I pray, amen. Amen, Karcher. And have a merry, merry Christmas. <laughs>